he just tried to jump on you. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. The moral of today's video is keep the gate closed. Keep the goat <laughs> gate closed. When we come outside every day, literally everybody runs except for the horses. All the goats run, they're like, oh my gosh, they're here, the duck and the goose. They run. The duck and the goose, everybody, they're like, they're coming, quick! We don't even feed the duck and the goose anything, so I don't know why they come. And Honey's like, I'm coming! <laughs> Anyway, you might notice that we have little Mr. Man out with the girls today. He is loving it. Tilly is not loving it so much. She's not that happy that he's there, but she's not being super mean. Honestly, get out of that pool. Oh my gosh, honestly, I can't even handle that anymore. I promise you there will be horse footage in this vlog, but we're starting today in the goat barn again. Oh, I haven't started. We've done everything. We sat everything. down here for like an hour with Blossom. Yeah, we sat down here for like ever. We sat down here this morning for the longest time. And so much has happened. <laughs> but anyways, we've done school. We've done it all, you guys. I've had a shower. We've just done it all. But <laughs> Sophie's done some billet journaling. But anyways, I wanted to just tell you guys what we did this morning. What's new? So you guys, we left you guys last night with the idea that our goat got out accidentally. Yeah, our buck got out accidentally. And so I was really upset and worried about our breeding schedule. I have like this breeding plan in my head and I want it to go perfectly and it's not been going perfectly. So when we left you yesterday, I thought all of my goats were bred because of all these things that just keep happening. But it turns out that they aren't. So another goat just came into heat today. I want to breed for dolings, so to do that you breed on the first day of heat. So I don't want to breed this cycle, I want to breed next cycle so that we have like May, April or May babies. April, May babies. And because I want it to be warmer for them, I don't want to have to get into heat lamps, I want it to just be like they can go out soon after they're born and have lots of grass and good things to eat. But this morning when I saw that another doe was in heat I was like you know what let's just start now let's just start now because they're not letting us control anything anyway like they're just getting out and doing whatever they want so if I want to have some kind of control and breed just on the first day I'm just gonna try and start now we'll have March babies and we'll just be okay with it so this morning we threw our goat mocha out with the boy for the first time how'd it go Sophie um the boy's too short <laughs> he's dumb <laughs> Like, all this time I've been like, they're all gonna be bred. He doesn't even know how to breed one. So, I don't know. He's a bit short and he's a lover, not a fighter. He's a kind boy. He's gentle. He's like all about the wooing her and being being kind and gentle, but she likes a more aggressive approach, I think. I don't know. And she stands for him and he was having a hard time figuring it out. So we're leaving with him the whole, we're leaving her with him for the whole entire day. So after today, I'm gonna take her away from him and I'm gonna wait. And if she comes into heat again next month, then it will be on schedule. But at least we're kind of having a little bit of a say and hopefully we'll get some dolings out of this. I had a dream. I told you guys I dreamed that all of our goats were pregnant and that I saw Tilly and Tilly had three babies with her. So. I don't know if like none of them get pregnant and I don't know what will happen. I just know that we are going to have some babies. <laughs> Hopefully Ellie, not everybody is pregnant, but we're taking it back. You guys We're taking back the control from our, from our little buck that doesn't like to let us make the choices. Where are we putting this thing? All right, where are we going to put it? So we're setting up oh, some more cameras. See the dad so soon. do we want it to be indoor or outdoor? Oh, I mean this thing. Ah! Sorry, Ellie. Take it. Where's the bug? There was a spider on me. So we're trying to decide if we want this camera system to be outside. I think I'm going to put it outside. So we are going to get another camera system for inside the barn. Yeah, we can put it up here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking because then we can see the road. We can see down here. We can see in the boys field. Nothing is more fun to me than watching our animals all day long, whether we're in the barn or in the field or watching them on the camera. Every time we're away from the house, like when we were at the fair on the weekend, I'm able to do a quick look at our animals. If it's pouring rain and I'm worried that like that storm is throwing a fit and running around and getting ready to pull a shoe, I can look on the camera and be reassured that he's in the barn like a good little boy. 
I am trying my hardest not to let Sam climb the ladder, so that's why I'm staying here helping him. How do you like my help, Sam? <laughs> <It's good. laughs> okay. part. We have a camera system at the house that shines down here, shines that like goes on the road and stuff, but it's not the same right in the goat area. You guys, Ellie is almost a year old. She's about six weeks before her birthday and I'm gonna do a video about her. Do you guys remember all the plans that I had for her? And I wanna show you guys what plans came true, <laughs> how everything worked out with her and what, and just a general update on her. And I'm gonna talk about her floppy ear because Ellie has a floppy ear. Hopefully by then it'll be fixed. But yep, she's almost a year old. So she's pretty much full grown. She's a bigger Yorkie. This is the size I wanted specifically. Here come the goats. They're like, what are you doing down here? You're trying to spy on us? And just like that, we have a view of our entire goat area. You can see the little goats there. You can move the camera. You can move the camera up or down. Do you remember how dingy and dark this barn was when we moved here? It was like this dark, dingy barn. And now it's this adorable little space. So Sam is also going to fix this. I asked him recently if he'd fix this. So the problem with it is that they overlap. So even though it's got this little latch here, it doesn't, I mean, it kind of holds it, but if you just push it, just push it, Sam, it falls apart. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I still have to drill a hole though. Yeah, so he's gonna stabilize one area, one of them, and then only one side of the gate will open. He just has to get a, a what do you have to get, a drill? Yeah, a bigger drill. A yeah. bigger drill bit. And then this side will stay fixed. We would just take it off, but I wanna leave it on here because when we have babies, I wanna be able to let the baby, Sophie and I wanna be able to sit on that bench back there and let the babies run and play because it's probably gonna be winter. <laughs> We don't get spring until like May here. Do you think our buck could be a dud? Yeah. He's too <laughs> short. That'd be good then, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it would be good. <laughs> when you look up and all these little legs are running at you, it's so funny. I absolutely love horse days. Now that we are dividing our time between horses and goats, it feels like we have less time with our horses. So I love horse days. Sam throws hay in this arena here. He throws a bunch of piles so that if any horse wants to come in, I really want to bring honey. They can. I really want to. Listen, that boy's with his family and he's still crying for us. He's out with his mama. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we only, uh oh. Sophie, can you go get Storm? We we're getting ready to go. Gabby has to Gabby's getting ready. <laughs> What's the matter? Why are you such a noisy boy? I just saw him eating from the hay bale. Huh, boy. He's like, no. So uh, we've still got the girl with the buck. And he's not, he's not doing anything. Literally, he's a dud. She's so heavy. Oh They're God. just hanging out. He's just happy to have her with him. Blossom's just happy. He's just happy to say like, you're my girl. He doesn't care if she gets pregnant. Hi, babe. So in the next couple of days here, another one of our goats should come into heat. It should be this one right here, which is Tilly. She should be coming into heat. And it will put her with the buck. And I know she gets bred because I dream she has three babies. But anyway, we have to get ready to go to a riding lessons. <laughs> so come on, Storm. It's gonna be cold. I better make sure I have some gloves. I might have to get a hat. Where is he? Storm. Storm's way up there. Come on, Storm. He puts his head up. You guys can't see. Hi, dinner time. Come on. Grab grain bucket. Come on. Penny's like, it's a trick. Don't go. <laughs> Look at, they're all, Penny's totally an introvert. Wait, where's honey? Uh oh, where is honey? Honey. Pro probably behind Storm. All right, let's go in the barn and call them. And we turn around. <laughs> they're like, I listened. <laughs> Make him come to us. So I found with horses, if you turn around and walk away now, he'll come. 
Oh, don't spill it all over the ground. Come here. Come on, Storm. 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 You're spilling it. Close but reality. You gotta walk all the way down there. Okay, wait. Let's go back. Let's go back. I swear it works. I swear it works. I swear it does not. They only come to you. They only come to you if they. Gracie's like that was my food. <laughs> Horses are so funny. I want to bring honey so badly. I also want to bring Willow. Willow. Loves Honey's honey right places. up there with Storm. Show me. Show me. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Willow. You got Willow and Gracie's coming. Gracie's. Like, <laughs> Willow's like I want some. <laughs> oh look at Storm go. <laughs> <laughs> do I know horses or do I know horses? I know. If they, if they're, it's all a game. If they think you'll walk to them, then they're not moving. That's because the other horses are See, he only gets a little bit of the sunflower season. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Everybody gets energy. out of his way. Oh. Save your energy, dude. You gotta go in and eat, cause everybody wants food. The only one who didn't come was the baby. She's like, "Oh, you can't trick me." <laughs> the baby's waiting. Didn't realize everyone left her. <laughs> Penny, settle. Come on, Hans. Settle your jets, Hi. Missy. Come on, she is. Here. You be a nice girl. Keep who is? Honey. Oh. <laughs> be friendly. Be nice. She's I'll get you an apple. So I've started. feeding storm before we go because it's like over an hour before they'll ride uh, oh shoot I just find it gives them more energy or at least I hope it gives them more energy well hello did you believe me I said I would bring you an apple hold on can have the biggest one shined it all up Ew. Look how juicy it is I gotta give the other ones one too Hubby's over there eating french fries. Oh, so, honey got completely twisted around. She came the wrong way. She's like, guys. She's, she's like, I'll go with the goats. She's like, I'm a goat, guys. So, all the goats are in here. Okay, Don't the goats make you happy, though? I love her braids. And you know what's weird? Our, our goat barn doesn't smell at all. It's, it's so nice. And this barn doesn't smell at all. But I guess it's because it's cold outside. She's like, I want my friends. Hi, girl. Hi, baby. So their mom is in with the buck. Don't worry, she's coming back tonight. We blanket storm at night and we take it off like once the sun comes up. Only because he doesn't he ever. Rip it off if he gets too hot. Yeah, he will rip it off he if he gets too hot. He got other horses to do it last time. Yeah, he's like a genius about getting blankets off and he's really particular about. Unless it's cold, then he keeps it on. If he's cold, he keeps it on. So we come and we take it off of him. When, when it gets hot. You're in the wrong pen. All your friends are over there. How are you gonna get there? All right. Are you ready? Gosh. Look at the roof. Chickens underneath the truck. Just where you don't want them. All right. All right, Stormy boy. Let's go. You got your saddle and everything, Gabby? Look at Leo. He's like, can I go? Sam stands there with the crop. And he's like, all right, whatever you say. Perfect. Get out from under the trailer. Get out from under the truck. Look at how cute this chicken is. Isn't it the cutest? This is why people like silkies. She's just so friendly. Hi, little girl. Hey. She'll come right up to you. I just have a leaf. <laughs> That's all I have. I got nothing good for you. Go on the lessons, Stormy Boy, because you're a jumping horse again. He's like, what? <laughs> no, oh, there you go. Yeah, just gotta make sure this door is closed, otherwise we'll have runaway goats. When we go riding at night and we come back, it's always dark. And there's still no light in the farmyard area, so it gets tricky. But do you guys ever, you know how like when you go out into the farmyard and all the, all the animals want you? Like the chickens come running and they're excited because they think you have treats and then and the goats all start screaming and everybody runs to see like if you're there to bring them in for the night. 
And then you just leave them and you can tell like they're all sad. <laughs> I feel a lot of pressure. Oh, I, I, wasn't there. I feel a lot of pressure, guys. Sam and I are arguing about our hay bales. Look at these ones are huge. He says ours were this big, but that they were thicker. Ours is like the same size, just not as thick. Ours were like more tightly wrapped, he says. I don't know. It's been two weeks and we're almost done. All right, Stormy boy, we are here. My bladder is bursting. Hi, Storm. It's lessons again. Look at those eyes. He is, he is a pretty boy. It's okay. All right, go slow. That's why I told you to go slow, handsome. Let him look around a little. Do you remember being here before? You were literally here last week. Remember you have a friend here. His name is Buddy. He was, yeah, you remember that? He was your best friend. All right. She grabbed everything. They are off. <laughs> hey, everywhere. You ready? He's the only one in here. I like bringing him. I think Gabby takes pride in it. I'm excited to find her a new horse. I'm excited for her to keep loving on you too. Don't worry. You'll always be number one. Always. He's like, I think he feels a lot more comfortable now. He understands that he's going home with us. You're going home with us. We're taking you home. As long as you get him <laughs> he's like, I don't believe you. <laughs> How do you do that, actually? I can't. Sylvie wants it to know. Counter canner? Yeah. Counter canner on purpose. Oh. Counter canner, and I was saying, sitting there like, like what which way were you going? Uh, that way. This way? Wrong way. This way, yeah. So you gotta ride like you're riding this way. You gotta turn, go. Why well, I added the wrong keep going. Keep going. He was in was like, uh, no. He just <laughs> threw his tail like, no. What no, do you think you're doing? All right. But when I wanted to canter on the right lead, he doesn't do it. So, um, <laughs> get tacked up, sister. Um, so Gabby's just saying that she hopes that Storm builds muscle quick because he's much better to ride, obviously. But what is the one thing that changes when the more muscle he, he has? Muscle yeah, Chino builds mus built muscle Chino the fastest. Did he did. No. Well, what, was bouncy. what is the it. one thing that Storm does the best when he's muscled up? Oh, he just... <laughs> uh, <laughs> he kicks out better. No. Yeah. He, kicks out much better when he, he doesn't kick out as far. So when Chino, he when Storm, when, he doesn't have muscle. when Storm does a lead change, he kicks out. But when he has like a lot of muscle, he doesn't kick out as much. So as that's. Much. He still does. Yeah. So. A little hop. Yeah. So he does a hop into the lead change. Barn Boots is almost on the way here, but they are really late. So I'm pretty sure they're here now. Are they here? I heard a truck too. Uh, All right, hurry up, get tacked up, and then we'll be like really early. It looks like it's gonna be a semi-private lesson. Gabby and Kate. It's gonna be Gabby and Kate. Oh, you know what we should do? And Finn. You guys should ride each other's ho horses. Oh, Kate would die. Kate would die. <laughs> yeah. Kate's do you want to do it? Okay. Kate's hurry up and get tacked up, and days. we'll get them tacked up, and then we'll do it just for warm up. Why just for warm up though? Because you have to really like get him jumping. So we're gonna ask if they want, if they can warm up each other's horses, ride each other's horses, and we're gonna see like how the horses respond differently and how like. So Kate's gonna have to put the stirrup. How do you think down. Stevie will be, Gabby? Faster than Storm. Yeah, <laughs> I think Kate will die. <laughs> Me too. But anyway, I don't know if they're gonna let us. But if they do let us, we're only gonna do it for the warm up because. She, Gabby's getting Gabby ready for a holes. show and she only has a few weeks to really get them ready, so. I go down seven holes on Gabby's saddle. You go down seven holes on Gabby's saddle? Seven let, holes. Well, let me, Here, let me Sophie, let's back. see. Back to back. Okay, you're in collar shoes. Back to back. back. No, I'm in sneakers. She's in cross. Someone said, no, put your feet down. Someone said Sophie is taller than me, but nope. I'm still taller. I'm going to tie them sort of bolted towards the jump with Gabby. The one time Yeah, in the down. indoor? Yeah, and he went so fast. I have a TikTok of that where he like he bolted. Didn't even go fast. It was so fast. It was, like a storm. Horse canner. It was like storm. Around and around horse okay, canner. who's our fastest horse? <laughs> with who's our fastest horse out of all the horses we've ever owned? Storm. Who? Honey. 
Honey. <laughs> so lazy. She's fast. <laughs> it's Storm, you guys. Storm so with behind. without a rider on her on him. He is the fastest horse ever. He just goes. Like he is got that quarter mile speed to him. He does that have that quarter mile speed to him. But we're gonna see today, hopefully, if Kate can bring that out in him. No. Okay, so we got confirmation. Kate's in. Kate, I'm praying for you. She's gonna. I've heard honey like once before. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh yeah, at the thing. I remember. Oh yeah, and it went fine. Actually, no. I also wrote in the. All right. Well, it's, it'll be it'll be good. Well, we're gonna do it. We're gonna see what happens. I mean, Gabby has never ridden Stevie. Yeah, she has. Oh. Yeah, I have. All right. Stevie one. She was lazy. She's not lazy anymore. <laughs> oh, thank you. Not quite. No, she's definitely not lazy. Storm's lazy. This horse are fun. Storm has not changed, ever. <laughs>